guys, it's Vampire Mike from SegaCDUniverse.com. This is a video response to a great YouTube friend of mine who I chat up with once in a while, uh, Rob, aka Tino777. Um, I don't know if uh, this is a story that's that's completely, um, you know, PC, but uh, I usually don't care about political correctness because I, I think that people kind of, uh, I don't know, talk a lot of bullshit. So anyway, Point of this, the point of the story has nothing to do with this. The first thing I was going to say was, which is probably not PC, um, when I first saw Rob's videos, I'm going to put his name down in the description, Tino777, check him out, he does excellent videos, pickups, talks about games he's, he likes, really really into video games, so he's, he's always very interesting to watch. When I first saw his video, he was, uh, he's Hispanic, um, or Latin, I don't know what the difference is actually, see that's not PC already. Um, he was wearing, I think, like a Wu-Tang shirt or a Tupac shirt. I think it was a Tupac shirt. And uh, I love Tupac. And uh, I was like, this guy's got to be, like, from the Bronx or Brooklyn, like, right near me, you know. Um, and he opened his mouth, and I was joking with him, and I said, I, I heard Cockney rhyming slang right when you open your mouth. It it's obviously not Cockney rhyming slang. I know what that, that is and where it comes from. But he has a British accent. He's from the UK. So they say you can't judge a book by its cover. And, you know, you make, you make an impression right when you see someone... I thought he was my neighbor next door, and in reality he was from England. So that was pretty funny. So I, I always kind of laugh at that, even though uh, I don't know if Rob found it very funny. <laughs> so this is a video response to him. Um, he, had, he had done a video where he said uh, RPGs and me, I believe, or something to that effect. He had said how one of the first RPGs he had saw was Secret of, I want to say it was Mana, not Evermore. And he just saw an open field, his friend had showed him it. And he was, I don't know how old he said he was at this point. And he saw an open field and these like whimsical characters running around. And he was just so like, what is this shit? Why is there anything going on? Why is it kind of like turn-based? I actually never played Secret of Mana. So I don't think, I don't know if it's turn-based with some like live elements. Either way, um, he was like, what is this? I don't get it. And he totally did not get into the RPG genre. He was like, what is this crap? So... He then ended up eventually, after the, the hype had died down, buying Final Fantasy VII, playing it, getting sort of far, and it just kind of fell off for him. He didn't understand the mechanics that you had to grind and build up your character to, you know, uh, advance, and then, you know, maybe grind enough to get strong enough to beat a boss. So he was at some boss, he got stuck, he got pissed off, and eventually he stopped playing. Unlike with other games where it takes more skill, like let's say a first-person shooter, or an action-oriented game, it takes more skill, and then you you can do it as long as you're getting better at it. This is is it takes more points, you know. And he doesn't he didn't get like, gets like that, so he's never really uh, meshed with the RPG RPG genre until now. I think he said he was kind of getting a little more into it because he's appreciating the stories and the mellowness of them as he's gotten older. <clears throat> I'm a little opposite. When I was like really young, like five or six, I totally didn't understand it. I, I had no idea why it was. You know, such slow paced. I'm trying to do things. I didn't understand why everything was turn based. Uh, I started appreciating it probably at about, I would say like 12, 11 years old. Uh, I don't remember what my first RPG was. I remember I got big into Beyond the Beyond, Grub Gun, which is a pretty bad RPG, but I hold some kind of nostalgia for me. Um, on the Super Nintendo, Chrono Trigger. I started off with the really good ones Earthbound, Chrono Trigger, um, Final Fantasy VII, even though I'm not a huge fan of it, I do like it. Um, Earth, I said Earthbound, 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 oh, Final Fantasy VI, aka Final Fantasy III, um, in Japan, in Japan it was six, it was three here, was that it? Or six here? I always forget the order. Anyway, um, it's funny because I kind of flip-flopped, so now I don't really have the time for a huge RPG. I just recently completed Persona 4 Golden on the Vita, I thoroughly enjoyed it, I loved it. But it was really about 60 hours, and it was about 20 hours too long for me. I really loved it. I would play it again. But by the time I got to like the 40 or 50 hour mark, I just wanted to finish it. I cared about the story. I cared about the characters. And I do love the characters and the um, story developments in, in terms of RPGs in general. But like Rob said, sometimes you get older, you want a mellow game, but you just don't have 60 or 100, hundreds of hours to invest in these games. You go to work, you come home, you have a family, you have things going on, you maybe have a couple jobs, and it's just not something you can do at, at you know, I'm 29, so I don't know, I think Rob's younger, he's probably about, what, 24 maybe? Um, that's a guess, that's a wild guess out there, you look young. 
good for you. And um, so you, you, I just tend not to have the time for hundreds and hundreds of hours of these games, especially open world games like Morrowind and Elder Scrolls, even though I've played those games before. Um, for me, the thing that's never really sat well with me in terms of one genre is strategy games. Um, strategy games in terms of turn-based, I like, like Final Fantasy Tactics, Vandal Hearts, um, actually I never played Final Fantasy Tactics, I think I might have seen it, Vandal Hearts, um, those type of games I like. I enjoy the Shining Force, I love those types of games. When it comes to strategy in terms of like StarCraft and micromanaging, I totally don't dig it, I hate it, I hate the time aspect, it makes me get anxiety, like I have to do things at a certain time and then, you know, send my troops after the other guy. Totally not my bag. So, for Tino777, his was RPGs. Mine has always been, and probably will always be, micromanagement type strategy games. Just, I cannot get into them. Um, and now I can't get into long-winded, really long RPGs. So, I just wanted to add my two cents to this. I love Tino's videos. Um, please check him out in the description below. And thank you for the question, aka look into your personal life or video game life. Uh, always great videos, man. Thanks for watching. It's Vampire Mike from SegaCDUniverse.com. Be good.